in the Marine Corps, they teach one mind any weapon. In yeah. theory, you could pick up anything and make it a weapon. I mean, that must have been tough to distinguish who's on your side and who's on their side. Like, obviously, the uniforms are different, but in, in such a muggy environment like that. So throwing grenades. Uh, oh, looks like his buddy <laughs> just ran into it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jennifer Brofer. I'm a Marine Corps veteran. I served on active duty for 10 years as a combat correspondent, and I deployed to Afghanistan in 2010. Hi, I'm Jennifer Perante. I served in the Marine Corps for eight and a half years as a public affairs combat correspondent, and I deployed in 2013 uh, with the Marine Expeditionary Unit, so I was on a ship for eight months. Today, we're gonna watch some gameplay from Omaha Beach from Call of Duty to see how realistic it is. It's now or never. The uniforms look pretty accurate to me. It looks like uh, something out of Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, <laughs> that opening scene. Oh, D-Day, yes. Looks like they're about to storm the beach. Mm-hmm, that must have been intense. I can't imagine. Oh. Well, you know, at, at the tail end of the um, Operation Enduring Freedom, we were you know, transitioning to our amphibious route, so we did a lot more training in amphibious raids mm -hmm. and storming beaches. And, and it's still so different uh, now in modern times from back in World War II. Just the, the equipment that they, they, they had, the boats or the ships that they came in on had no coverings. Nowadays right. we do. Okay, what's that guy doing? Here we go. Fire up that bomb. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> They're already getting shot at. No. It looks like, I mean, all they really have is a helmet. It doesn't look like they have a lot of um, yeah. protective gear. No, I don't really see a whole lot of armor. <laughs> Everyone's already wet and cold. They're in for the fight of their lives. Mm -hmm. what, what, oh no, okay, well that's, ooh, that's graphic. So they're running and we see, oh, so we see these little uh, Czech hedgehogs uh -huh. that are these like anti-tank uh, metal structures. So it looks like he's trying to give some uh, medical support to a wounded comrade. Oh, oh that's wow. graphic. Okay, yeah, this is just like the movie Saving Private Ryan. Mm -hmm. That was hard to watch too. It, I think it would be interesting to know if they had any sort of uh, war plan, you know what I mean, in term, terms mm. of personnel. Today, we use platoons and squads, and it's it's very planned. Even though you're going into a hostile environment where that is very unpredictable and dangerous, you're still going in with a plan of this is what you're supposed to do in this situation. This is how you clear rooms. This is how you go for cover. You know, this person, the platoon's going well, this way. We're going to go that way, and we're going to communicate and use hand signals. I don't know if they did a whole lot of that back then. And I mean, from what I've seen in movies and in video games you don't see that level of communication, organization in a unit mm -hmm. when you're going into a, a war. You, this is the kind of game that you would play and get PTSD just playing this game. Yeah, this is intense. You know, this is really intense. I mean, the, the graphics in this are really great though. The graphics just, are mean, really good. A lot, a lot, a lot of um, people running around. and It's chaotic, mm -hmm. which I think at that time it was a lot less organized. It was, it was really chaotic. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he's taking apart his weapon and, and reassembling. Those are iron sights, yeah, but that's an old, that's an old weapon that I've never used. Wait, how is he reloading? He's reloading really quickly mm -hmm. for, uh, for World War II. That's pretty quick. Well, the weapons in the game are quite different from what we use uh, today in the military. Um, it looks like some kind of M1, but I'm not certain. Uh, but today we use, uh, you know, the M16, the M4s, and they use magazines in our weapons today. Yeah, I mean, I imagine that I would have struggled a lot with weapons back then because when I trained on the M16, it didn't have the butt stock that you could adjust. And so training on that weapon was actually really difficult for me because I'm such a small person having to, you know, having that in your shoulder <laughs> and having to reach around yeah. to use it. So when I was finally issued the M4, um, mm -hmm. I was I, I liked that a lot because you could you know make the buttstock smaller, make it fit um, mm -hmm. into you know the pocket of your shoulder, and it was just it was easier to handle, easier to use. I mean that's that Intense. that's so that's so chaotic to be put on like an armored boat, and mm -hmm. good luck. 
Good luck. And then <sighs> most of them are already dead before you get off the boat. Yeah. So they're throwing grenades. Uh, oh, looks like his buddy <laughs> just ran into it. <laughs> so it looks like they're trying to take out like a, a machine gun of some kind, right? Or some mm -hmm. kind of enemy bunker. Yeah. Because if you take out the machine gun, then you can really infiltrate. Yeah. Okay, yeah, see, so I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's um, a first aid kit or... It looks like a first aid kit, but he appears to just be I don't know using what he's it to reload. Oh, oh okay. so he just shot an enemy soldier. So now we're actually getting some yeah, we're getting enemy into... contact here. Mm -hmm. So we got these uh, enemy soldiers. They're dead. We're making progress. Oh, oh. It's my hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. They look so evil. <laughs> they look so evil. Oh. 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 He just got stabbed with a K bar. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, okay. If only we could fight in slow motion. Right, in real yeah. Life and we could see it coming at us. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> okay, so he just well, grabbed the helmet and he's mm -hmm. bashing his head in with the helmet. I mean, that's a weapon of opportunity. Yeah. In the mm -hmm. Marine Corps, they teach one mind any weapon. Mm -hmm. So in yeah. theory, you could pick up anything and make it a weapon. It's so crazy how different warfare is from yeah. World War II. And yeah. um, in present day, it's- Afghanistan, it's Iraq. It's like night and day. I mean, just the terrain alone is so different. I mean, this is clearly not the Middle East. Uh, so different terrain, different tactics. He's trying to save his buddy, that's good. I mean, because we're taught never leave a Marine behind. So he's dragging his buddy and he's, oh, and the flamethrowers, that is accurate. That, they did have flamethrowers back in World War II, yep. Okay. Yeah, they used flamethrowers to try to clear out those uh, those machine gun uh, areas. I think I've seen that in a couple of Quentin Tarantino movies. Yeah, and they <laughs> I think they show that in Saving Private Ryan as well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't have flamethrowers in the, in the Marine Corps anymore. That sounds badass though. Like I was a flamethrower. If you were a flamethrower Why don't we have those II, now? I don't know, frankly. I think they should still have them. Oh, it looks like his buddy's not gonna make it. This is so sad. This seems like such an intense video this game. This looks like an actual movie. Yeah. Like you're playing a movie. Yeah, like you're, you're, you're not just firing weapons and trying to attack the enemy. Like you're actually going through what... Yeah. This isn't just you're shooting people and you're running. Like you're actually yeah. establishing connections with these people in the game. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the game is intended to make you understand what it would have been like. Oh no. Oh no, he's crawling and he's on fire. How do you how do you put out your buddy? It's almost as if he has uh, unlimited ammunition, yeah. which, you know. Well, that's not realistic. That's not realistic <laughs> at all, especially. Just unlimited supply. Back in the day, I think they would probably have a lot more limited ammunition than we do today. Yeah. So are those German soldiers he's shooting at? I mean, that must have been tough to distinguish, you know, who's on your side and who's on their side. Like, obviously the uniforms are different, but in, in such a muggy environment like that. Right. So they found some enemy artillery. Oh, so they're gonna use their own artillery against them. Oh. oh! Oh, they're gonna blow it up. So they, it can't yeah. be used against them. That's yeah. smart. Smart. His buddy's still alive. Looks like he's uh, possibly gonna make it. Based on the uh, rank structure, it looks like that guy on the left is a corporal. And that looks like oh. that guy is a sergeant first class. So he would be one of the guys in charge. Wow, what a harrowing experience. Yeah. <laughs> that was intense. You know, we don't have a lot of World War II veterans left to tell their stories. No, I, I'm a member of the American Legion and they have a few World War II veterans and I can't even imagine going through what they went through. I mean, just looking at this video game and it's a video game, just mm -hmm. imagining the real life scenario of, of going through that. That's tough. So I have a lot of respect for, well, all veterans, but World War II veterans have a lot of respect for me. So we just got done watching some clips and videos from Call of Duty Omaha Beach. And it was a really awesome game about World War II and what that may have been like. I, I'm not a World War II veteran. It was intense. It was almost like watching a movie, but it was gameplay. So I thought the scenarios were realistic. I thought the 
I mean, the uniforms, the environment. Definitely give this game a try if you're into that kind of thing. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Make sure you go check out more videos at the Gameology Facebook and YouTube channels. Bye. And today we're gonna watch some gameplay from a lovely game called so the type of boat that they're coming in on on the beach is called a Higgins boat. Uh, do you know much about the Higgins boat? Only what I've seen in the movies. <laughs> Same. <laughs>